Mirror Adventures. We just arrived in Singapore. We're here for 48 hours, so we took your best recommendations on Instagram. Our first stop is here at the airport because we took the bus in from Kuala Lumpur yesterday. But we're here at the Jewel, which is one of Singapore's top attractions. We're super thankful and lucky to get a house sit here, which is really helping meet our budget of $100 a day. It's super busy right now, but we're gonna go check it out, show you guys as best as we can, and then go explore the city tomorrow. So we took the subway ride from our house sit. Subway itself was really nice. Singapore has super clean public transport. We just use our bank card and go. We got here and this is where it got really busy. We've heard that the Jewel is always really busy so we're just kind of taking that into consideration and we're gonna do our best to show you guys around. It's a light show in about 30 minutes, but we don't want to just sit around and wait for it. We're going to go explore some of the mall, and hopefully we can find spots when we get back. All right, Deborah, which car game are you going to do? Pokemon. Oh. 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 So the light and sound show was pretty cool. It was very Disney inspired lasted about five minutes but it was pretty cool it's free we're always looking to find the free stuff so now we're gonna go spend all of our money on food <laughs> exploring the jewel it was really cool highly recommend coming to check it out if you're in Singapore we're going to go home and check in on our trusted house of dog and then we have a full day of exploring Singapore tomorrow we'll have to see what we get up to then hey guys welcome to day two of our 48 hours here in Singapore today our goal is to see the Marina Bay Sands hotel building and go see the gardens by the bay so if we get those two things done I'll be super happy that's pretty much the only things on my Singapore bucket list so we just took the subway train here to the Marina Bay Sands Hotel I think we're actually in it right now so we're gonna go outside and see if we can get a good view of it and then just explore for the day way to the gardens by the bay you do have to buy entry tickets if you want to go inside any of the attractions even though it's out of our budget we paid 30 Singaporean dollars so we're gonna go check it out it's really hot out today we're gonna do our best to stay cool it's very very hot it was very sweaty <laughs> yeah so we came all the way to the rooftop of the sky tree observatory which is included in your ticket highly recommend coming all the way to the rooftop even though it's not air conditioned the views are just unmatched and there's nothing in the way blocking your view either and stunning view of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. We came into the Flower Dome. I see. <laughs> which is really busy right now, but it was really beautiful. They have a lot of tulips right now because it's tulip season. We couldn't make it to Amsterdam, so we figured we'd come here. <laughs> The other dome is the Cloud Forest, which we aren't going to, it's way out of budget, but that's the one with all the waterfalls. Might be worth checking out if you're here. If you are coming during the day, definitely recommend doing the observation deck like we did because it's AC. If you're coming at night, highly recommend doing the skywalk because then you get the views of all the trees that are lit up and it'll be a lot cooler for you since it's not inside for air conditioning. Good morning guys, it is officially our last day here in Singapore. The last 48 hours have gone really, really quick. We did do quite a bit yesterday after we explored the garden, so we ended up coming back home to check on Iggy and Eleanor, which are our house sit pets for the week, and then we went back to see Marina Bay Sands and the gardens by the bay at night. They're really, really beautiful, but if you're looking to do one or the other, I would recommend the Gardens by the Bay light show over the Marina Bay Sands light show. I don't know, it felt really cool to just be like under it. But today we're just hanging out with the pups. We're gonna go head to the airport pretty soon. It was a pretty good few days, and we somehow managed to stay under $100 a day here in Singapore, which is crazy if you think about it. Um, 
But yeah, house sitting really helped out. So make sure to check out that link if you're interested in house sitting for yourself. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> we met our friend. We're twinsies. <laughs> Him with his bamboo, me with my brownie. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you.